Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in the JavaScript Basics tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to set up a web page that is ready to use with JavaScript. In this tutorial we're going to be using a text editor, it's more than likely you'll, be, you'll use a text editor anyway. Um, if you're on Mac I would recommend something like text or sublime text, sublime text is great. If you're a bit more of an advanced web developer then maybe something like Optana Studio uh, is the way to go. Small Tron, this is a uh, paid but it's still a good text editor as well. So I'm using Sublime Text though. Uh, let's close that a second. And uh, if you're on Windows, definitely recommend Notepad. Also, we're going to be using a browser to test it on. Recommend Google Chrome as that is the browser that is used in terms of majority ship market share. Also, it has great debugging features built in without any external plugin. So let's just get down to it. The first thing we're going to create is a HTML page. So it's going to declare the doc type at the top of HTML. And put some HTML tags. Now we're just going to save this before we finish it off so we can actually get some syntax highlighting. We'll just call this for the JavaScript. And we'll just call this index.html. Okay, and then we're going to put a head tag. Finally, we'll just put a body tag. Okay, and now we're all good to go, really. The HTML page is pretty much created. We've just got a link a JavaScript file into this but we can do that after we've created so just do new file and just save this as I'm going to call this main.js a JavaScript file has the file extension JS stands for JavaScript just save it and what we'll do we'll put alert alert will be covered in a separate tutorial but we're just going to put alert just to see if it's working And then we literally just include the file here in the head tag. So you do script, and then you do src, stand for source, equals to, it's called main.js. The source part doesn't have to be a local file, it can be like http, colon, for slash, for slash, www dot, maybe it's on a server. Recommend that it is, you have it locally just because you don't know, unless it's your server, what the person who owns the server is going to do. They might take you down for whatever reason. And we just literally close, close the script tag now. And if we just go to the desktop and run the web page, JavaScript index.html, we have the JavaScript alert pop up. There is actually another way. You can also run JavaScript code like this as well. You can literally just put a script tag here. So if we just comment this out a second, comment to what's covered in the HTML basics tutorial series, and we can simply put alert in here. We'll put something different like just hello so you know it's different. Go back to Chrome, refresh, and then we've got hello alert instead of the hello world. So you can just use a bit of JavaScript like this if you're going to have a large JavaScript, this is not recommended because the page can start getting ugly and it's going to get really huge. But if it's just literally a little quick thing, you can do it like this. So yeah, these are the two main ways to use JavaScript. I'm actually going to just remove this because in future tutorials, we generally won't be using that. We'll just be including a file. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at the syntax of JavaScript. Uh, all the required source code for this tutorial will be in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to message us and thanks for watching.